Hi, I'm Melanie Cameron with the Cameron team at Coldwell Banker Seacoast Advantage in Wilmington, North Carolina. Welcome to Pender County, North Carolina, a place of unique charm and variety, offering a distinctive blend of natural beauty, history, and a sense of community. Situated in the southeastern part of the state, its borders span from farm and game land to the Atlantic Ocean, making it an attractive location for buyers seeking a rural home that is a convenient drive to the beach, as well as buyers looking for beachfront or intracoastal front properties. It's also a prime choice for home buyers who want to be close to the historic Port City of Wilmington in New Hanover County and the military bases just past the Onslow County border in Jacksonville. To better understand all that Pender County has to offer, here is a deep dive into the major areas, including some prominent communities to take note of if you too are looking to purchase a home in the area. We start our tour in Hampstead, North Carolina, a short 15 minute drive up US Route 17 from Wilmington. This area features 38 miles of coastline along the Intracoastal Waterway and is a convenient boat ride or car ride to the beaches of Topsail Island. It's also been recognized as the seafood capital of the Carolinas for over 50 years, in part due to the town's history of seafood distributors as well as the North Carolina Spot Festival it hosts every year. Hampstead is also home to Holly Shelter Gameland, a popular destination for outdoor sportsmen and bird watchers. It features over 63,500 acres of public woodlands and wetlands. The game lands are open for various hunting seasons during the fall, winter, and spring. During the off season, the public is welcome to park at the gates and bike or hike the land. Located right on US 17, Hampstead's Business Center has many of the same favorite local stores, restaurants, services, and medical facilities that you will find in Wilmington. This has made it popular among home buyers who want to enjoy the benefits of Wilmington without the daily drive. Over the years, home buyers have found Hampstead's real estate to be more affordable than homes in neighboring New Hanover County. For those who work in Wilmington, purchasing in Hampstead allows them to have a reasonable commute and a lower cost of living. Here are a few of the neighborhoods that have been favorites among our buyers. Washington Acres is one of the first large developments when driving from Wilmington to Hampstead on US 17. The original section of the community does not have a homeowners association, but later built sections do have an HOA that helps maintain the roads and common areas. Washington Acres also has a community boat ramp, but it's important to note that only a certain number of properties have deeded rights to use it. Further northeast on US 17 and down Factory Road is the community of Majestic Oaks. Featuring large lots and two-story homes, it's a top choice for anyone needing more space. Sidewalks run throughout the community, making it easy to take a daily stroll, and residents enjoy a clubhouse and swimming pool during the warm months. Past the center of Hampstead, down Sloop Point Loop Road, we come to Windwater. This welcoming community has a walking trail that leads past a number of sparkling ponds that are lined by fluffy pompous grass, bushes, and swings. Some of the ponds have piers that stretch out into the water, allowing enjoyment of water fountains and visiting waterfowl. It's a setting that many home buyers have fallen in love with. The community also has a swimming pool and a pool house for resident enjoyment. Some of Hampstead's largest established communities were built around golf courses and were at the forefront of the area's growth. The first is Castle Bay Country Club, which is located off of Hoover Road on the northern side of Hampstead. This Scottish Link Styles 18-hole championship golf course is surrounded by single-family brick homes and townhomes. For additional activities, the Country Club offers a swimming pool and fitness center membership. The next golf course is located on the south side of North Carolina 210. The Old Point Country Club fills the heart of the Old Point community. 
This lovely wooded neighborhood not only offers residents the opportunity to live along the golf course, but also has a number of marsh front and intracoastal waterway front properties with docks. The Country Club has 18 holes and offers tennis and swimming pool memberships. The final community, Belvedere Plantation, is located next to Old Point and was originally built around the Belvedere Golf and Country Club. After some financial struggles, the golf course was put up for sale and many people expected it to be developed into more land for houses. However, the owners of Ironclad Brewery in Wilmington decided to purchase the property and create Ironclad Golf and Beer Garden. They have since invested a great deal in updating the course. They've also added a permanent eatery and pickleball courts. All three of these communities offer a wide range of homes, but if you're looking for something more opulent, Hampstead has luxury communities to choose from. The first is a newer community located off Factory Road, close to the center of Hampstead. Salters Haven is a luxury marina community that was started in 2020. At its heart is a protected marina, Lee Marina and is a resort-style clubhouse with a swimming pool. It's been a favorite among avid boaters. Off Grandview Drive near Old Topsail Creek, Eagles Watch is a gated waterfront community affording many of its homes with water views. This unique luxury community has a nature preserve for blue herons, horned owls, and eagles. Residents enjoy a beautiful clubhouse, swimming pool, fitness center, kayak launch, and nature trails. Pick and Grow Plantation is another gated waterfront community. Located off a of Sloot Point Road, the main entrance is lined with majestic 100-year-old pecan trees and sidewalks. Roundabouts and cul-de-sacs help to limit traffic and improve privacy. At the same time, residents enjoy multiple clubhouses, tennis courts, an Olympic-sized swimming pool, a fitness center, a playground, a private boat ramp, a kayak launch, and gazebos near the Intracoastal Waterway. Hampstead has many great communities that we don't have time to highlight here. If there's one you're interested in knowing more about, let us know and we'll accommodate. Following North Carolina Highway 210 towards the water, we come to the charming town of Surf City. This small community straddling the line between Pender and Onslow counties offers a mix of stunning natural scenery, rich history, and a relaxed, friendly atmosphere. Surf City is one of the main access points to beautiful Topsail Island and covers areas of the mainland and island. For this reason, it features the majority of the shopping, dining, and services in the area. As the name suggests, Surf City is a destination for water sports and outdoor enthusiasts. Surfing, deep sea fishing, pier fishing, and boating are all popular pastimes. It's also home to the Karen Beasley Sea Turtle Rescue and Rehabilitation Center. And it, like much of the island, is frequently visited by dolphins, humpback whales, and an occasional seal. Due to its unique location, Surf City offers home buyers a nice mix of real estate from starter homes to luxury beachfront properties. On the mainland is one of the largest master plan communities in Pender County, Waterside. Once completed, it will have close to 430 single family homes and 200 multifamily homes, depending on the market demand during building. While plans are not set in stone, this is the current plan for Waterside and is about one third of what the developers were originally approved to build. As homes are built, amenities are added, including a swimming pool, clubhouse, fitness center, basketball court, pickleball, fire pits, and a playground. Plus, it's hard to beat its convenient location minutes from the beach. Located on the mainland, just before the Surf City Bridge on Little Kinston Road, Sears Landing is filled with charming beach cottages overlooking the Intracoastal Waterway. Many have docks and lifts, and a few even have private ramps that allow the owners to trailer their boats at will. These cottages have stood the test of time and truly feel like a small beach town. As you get on the island, it's harder to tell the difference between different communities, and it's best to filter your home search by property feature and location, like oceanfront, intracoastal front, row, etc.
If you're looking for a unique community, Old Settlers Beach is a standout. Most of the homes in this community were built on the man-made canals that connect to Baines Channel and the Intracoastal. There are a variety of cottages in the community and each one has a small dock. Plus, the community is a nice walk or bike ride from a public beach access. Known for being the quieter end of the island, this area features some seasonal restaurants and businesses and beautiful views of Lee Hutaf Island Nature Preserve, Serenity Point, and Banks Channel. It's also a destination for shell hunters, bird watchers, and kayakers who enjoy exploring the marsh areas. Like Surf City, many of the homes in Totsil Beach are best filtered by property features and location. Many properties on this end of the island are not located in a community. However, there are a few communities that offer additional amenities to their residents. One of those is Queens Grant. This community has condos, townhomes, and single family homes, mostly built along canals. Amenities include a private beach access, clubhouse, swimming pool, boat ramp, basketball court, playground, and docks. So it's a great choice if you want to fully enjoy all that Topsail Beach has to offer. Another great little community is Serenity Point. Located close to the very southern end of Topsail Island, this townhome community offers breathtaking views of the sound and ocean, especially at sunrise and sunset. Residents enjoy a private beach access and swimming pool, a great option for when the surf is too rough. It's important to note that North Topsail Beach is also on Topsail Island on the north end, but it's technically located in Onslow County. People looking to purchase on Topsail Island or near the beaches often include it and neighboring areas of Holly Ridge and Steensbury in their searches. Heading up North Carolina Highway 50 takes us to the rural area of Maple Hill. It may not be as widely recognized as some of its coastal neighbors, but it holds its own charm and appeal, especially for those who appreciate the quieter, more rural aspects of Pender County. After all, this area just has a few thousand residents. Offering a glimpse into the serene pastoral lifestyle of Eastern North Carolina, Maple Hill is surrounded by picturesque farmland, forest, and natural landscapes. This rural setting is ideal for those who love the outdoors, as the area is rich in wildlife, providing opportunities for bird watching, nature photography, and hunting. The center of Maple Hill is located in Pender County, but its border extends into Onslow County. Among the homes located in Pender County, you'll see affordable ranch and manufactured homes that are not located in subdivisions. On the side of Maple Hill that is closest to the military bases in Onslow County, there are a larger variety of homes and more planned subdivisions. One of those is Southwest Plantation, which is built around the prestigious 18-hole Championship Bear Trail Golf Course, just 20 minutes from the beach. The homes here are traditional and transitional styles with vinyl siding and stone accents. They range in size from bungalows to large coastal farmhouses, so there's an option for every lifestyle need. Throughout the neighborhood are walking trails and wooded conservation areas, perfect for enjoying an evening stroll. In addition to the golf course, the community also has a pool house, swimming pool, playground, driving range, and pro shop. Let's return to Wilmington and head north on I-40 or U.S. Route 117. Here, we come to Rocky Point. Known for its agricultural heritage and lush landscape, Rocky Point offers quiet, rural living just 10 miles from Wilmington. It's located near various natural attractions, including the Northeast Cape Fear River, providing opportunities for fishing, boating, hiking, and other outdoor activities. Rocky Point's Business Center sits at the four corners of U.S. Route 117 and North Carolina Highway 210 and features everything to meet your daily needs. There are also many small businesses, including home-based in Rocky Point area. Of course, if you're a local, you know Paul's Place Famous Hot Dogs near 133 is a must-visit lunchtime spot. In this area, you'll find a mix of small farms and equestrian centers, residential homes on large lots or tracts of land, and an occasional new construction community. 
As Wilmington grows, many home buyers are looking to this area to purchase a home that they can grow into, but is still a convenient drive to the city. One of those communities is Wiley Branch. Located off of Island Creek Road, just five miles from the business center of Hampstead, it is one of the newest planned communities in Rocky Point. Lots in this community average a little under a half an acre and feature one and two story homes with open floor plans and lovely details, such as tray ceilings, wainscoting, and built-ins. At the time of this video, the bathhouse and community pool are under construction. So if you're watching this in the future, make sure to check with us if this is something you're interested in. Just upstate Highway 210 is the established community of Avondale. Here, you'll find homes that are great for first purchases and upsizing, as they range from just under 1,200 square feet to over 3,000 square feet. Sidewalks are located throughout, providing a convenient place to walk a dog or enjoy a morning run. Also, if you're interested in low maintenance living, the cottages in Avondale has lawn maintenance included in the HOA fees. If you're looking for a higher end home on a larger than average lot, take a look at Saratoga. Located just north of Avondale, this community has stunning homes with extensive molding, shiplap, gas log fireplaces, kitchen islands, built-ins, and coffered ceilings. All the details that really appeal to home buyers today. The community doesn't have a lot of amenities, but the large lots leave plenty of room for creating the perfect outdoor living space. Whether it's a kitchen with a fancy pizza oven and grill, or an in-ground swimming pool with a slide and a room to lounge. Off Shaw Highway is one of the newest communities in Rocky Point, Brick Chimney Landing. Each phase of this community adds something special for homeowners. Lots with relaxing pond views, a swimming pool, and a clubhouse within walking distance of many of the homes, and the proposed kayak launch on the Northeast Cape Fear River. The homes sit on large lots and feature well-designed floor plans for lifestyles that require lots of bedrooms and space. Off Old Swan Point is the lovely wooded riverfront community of Swan Plantation. The homes are custom built and sit on large lots, affording residents an ideal amount of privacy. Homeowners have deeded access to a boat ramp on the Northeast Cape Fear River, and many of the properties along the river also have private docks. Residents can pop their boats or jet ski in the water and enjoy a nice day on the river whenever the weather permits. River Landing is another great little community with a boat ramp and sits right next to Swan Plantation. Homes here come in a variety of style and sizes from affordable brick ranches to large Cape Cods. And if you love trees, you'll love the canopy in this community. Just north of River Landing is the Knolls at Turkey Creek. This planned community also has water access. Right on Turkey Creek is a small ramp and dock, perfect for launching a kayak or canoe, as well as a fishing pier. Best of all, the community ranges from small starter homes to large mid-priced properties. Did you know Pender County had this many riverfront access communities? Rocky Point has even more communities to choose from, so if you're looking for something that fits a specific lifestyle or need, don't hesitate to ask. Heading further north, we pass through areas of Ashton and St. Helena as we come to Burgall, a charming small town and the county seat of Pender County. Burgall is well known for its historic downtown area, which features well-preserved buildings, many of which date back to the 19th and early 20th centuries. These structures give the town a distinct character and a sense of stepping back in time, which has made it a popular filming spot for movies and television series, including Under the Dome, Dawson's Creek, Revolution, Freedom Song, I Know What You Did Last Summer, The Divine Secrets of the Yaya Sisterhood, and others. Burgall is also home to the North Carolina Blueberry Festival, which attracts thousands of visitors every year and offers a lot of family fun and entertainment near the start of summer. But the fun doesn't stop there. Related events happen throughout the year. Burgall even provides fireworks, food, entertainment, and a lighted blueberry drop on New Year's Eve. Residents who like to be within walking distance of restaurants, shopping, and a variety of events enjoy living in Burgall's downtown historic district. There aren't many subdivisions in Burgall, but there is a wide range of properties from quaint cottages to horse farms with acreage. 
Less than two miles from downtown Bergal, Tilbriar is a small community of around 90 starter homes. These affordable properties are primarily one story with a finished room over the garage. Lots average a third of an acre of land, which is typically large enough for a nice lawn and swimming pool. Want a well-wooded neighborhood? Located off of Old River Road, Morgan Cove Plantation has large lots with a lovely canopy of trees surrounding its one and two story homes. There's a wide variety of home styles and at the center of the neighborhood is a lake. Some of the homes even have small docks for accessing the water. Southeast of Burgos Historic District off US Route 117 is the planned community of Creekside featuring coastal farmhouse homes with spacious open floor plans and stylish modern details, it's hard not to find something in this neighborhood to love. It's minutes from the playground at Rotary Park, multiple medical facilities, Burgall Middle School, and Pender Early College High School, which is why it's appealed to buyers of all different lifestyles. Heading north from Burgall up 117 and I-40, we travel through Watha and Willard. These two farming communities share the same zip code and have just a few thousand residents, but they cover 123 square miles of land, most of which, as you would expect, are fields and woodlands. Willard is home to the Penderley Homesteads Historic District, which encompasses over 180 community buildings and houses that were constructed as part of President Roosevelt's New Deal. It was the first experimental farm city colony established by the United States government through the United States Department of Interior's Division of Sustenance Homesteads in 1934. About 88 of the 144 homes still remain, as well as the school they built, Penderley Elementary School. Just past Willard is the town of Wallace. While parts of Wallace are located in Pender County, the majority of Wallace is in Duplin County. However, I want to point out the Angola Bay game land, which is located within the borders of Wallace. This land surrounds the Angola Swamp and spans over 34,000 acres. It's a popular destination for hunters, fishermen, hikers, and bird watchers throughout the year. Residents of Watha and Willard usually travel to Wallace and Bergal for their groceries, medical needs, and dining. While Watha and Willard don't feature a large amount of retail and restaurants, they do offer residents a quiet lifestyle surrounded by nature. The Watha and Willard area of Pender County is a great place to look if you want a home with acreage. Even manufactured home communities like Drake Acres and Gasterwood feature parcels that range from one acre to over six acres of land. It's also popular among home buyers looking for horse farms, family farms, or land to build a barn dominium or shouse. That's a shop and a house combined. If we return to Burgall and head west on North Carolina Highway 53, we'll come to the agriculturally rich small town of Atkinson and the unincorporated areas of Yamacraw and Curie. Western Pender County may not be as sought after as the beach areas on the east side of Pender County, but it has a very appealing, serene rural setting with a deep sense of history and community. Curie is home to Moores Creek National Battlefield, which was the site of a pivotal moment during the American Revolutionary War. The Battle of Moores Creek Bridge was the first significant victory for the Patriots in the Southern colonies during the American Revolution. This victory was crucial in boosting the morale and confidence of the Patriot forces. Its success discouraged the British from launching an immediate full-scale invasion of the Southern colonies. Today, the park hosts reenactments and other events throughout the year that allow visitors to learn more about the years during the Revolutionary War. Yamacraw also has a very unique claim to fame, though a bit more lighthearted than Morris Creek. It isn't a city you can search for in our local MLS. If you want to explore homes in this area, you need to look in Atkinson and Curie. However, Yamacraw was the home of someone special. If you're a fan of the television series, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, the character of Uncle Phil grew up in Yamacraw. Sam Art Williams, an executive producer from the original 1990s comedy, has a connection to nearby Bergal, and it's believed this was the source of the character's backstory, which began on a rural farm. 
And yes, there's still plenty of opportunities in this area to purchase land for farming, but there are also opportunities to own waterfront property as well. The stunning Black River winds its way through both Atkinson and Curie. Communities like Beatty's Bluff and Thoroughfare Estates in Atkinson have riverfront properties with docks and private boat ramps. There are also communities like Blue Heron Ranch and Patriot's Watch in Curie that have homes located on Moores Creek, a tributary off the Black River. It's an unbeatable location for kayaking, stargazing, bird watching, and wildlife viewing. Homes in this area of Pender County may be rural, but they're still just 25 to 45 minutes from bustling downtown Wilmington. And that's what makes Pender County great. You can purchase a home with acreage and still be an hour or less from one of the area's beaches or shopping and entertainment in Wilmington. If you have additional questions about Pender County or an area or neighborhood in particular, we are happy to help. You can reach us anytime at 910-233-2840 or check us out at thecameronteam.net. We look forward to helping you with all your real estate needs.